the valley below these vineyards lies Trier, Germany's oldest city, situated in the southwestern part of Germany, neighboring on the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. Trier belongs to the famous Mosel wine region. It is a city beaming with a fascinating heritage, preserved in a vibrant modern culture. Some of the highlights of today's visit include UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the Town Square, the Karl Marx House, St. Peter's Cathedral and much more. So join us and explore Tria. This is Karuna Channel. Stop, Porta Negra. But before we go in, all of the places that are shown in this video are within walking distance from the main station of Trier. And as you visit each one of these places, you'll be walking through the old town with its charming alleys past quaint shops and immaculately preserved medieval buildings. Negra, the Black Gate, is the landmark of Trier. Trier was founded by the Celts in the late 4th century and was then conquered by the Romans some 300 years later. Seven out of the nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites here in Trier were built during the Roman Empire. Trier was then the capital of the Western Roman Empire and as such this city gate was once the northern entrance to the city. Gate was given due to the natural blackening of the original light grey sandstone. Around the charming inner court, the corridors of the upper floors provide a beautiful view of the shopping district and the surrounding mountains. Entrance fee 4 euros per adult. Hauptmarkt, or the town square, directly faced the Porta Negra at a short distance. It is a place to meet and hang around and do some shopping. Like with the entire old town, this town square is lined with beautiful medieval facades with crowded cafes and gelaterias. As you walk in the old town, you will come across this building at Neustrasse 83. In this house, the wife of Karl Marx, Jenny von Westphalen, grew up in the 1800s. Take a break at Waffle Brothers at Fleischstrasse. Pick your own ingredients of choice for a delicious waffle and it will come with your name on it. The beautiful Rococo Palace Garden A walk in the blooming garden with its ponds and statues is quite exhilarating. The palace building itself is used as an administrative unit of the city and therefore visiting inside is permitted only during special events. For more information on that, please visit Trier Information website.
Tria has a long tradition of exhibiting beautiful water fountains. I'm going to show you three of my favorites right inside the old town itself. This one, built in 2004, is called Handwerkerbrunnen or Craftsman's Fountain in Fahrstraße. The most significant fountain of Trier, Petrusbrunnen, at the town square, built in 1595 and named after the patron of Trier, St. Peter. The foundation stone of the city Trier is buried under this fountain. Third one on my list, St. George's Fountain at Cornmarkt, built in 1749, considered the most beautiful Rococo fountain in all of Germany and happens to be my favourite. Cathedral Square of the famous St. Peter's Cathedral of Trier, as well as the adjoining Church of Our Lady, is one of the most attractive spots in Trier. Since both churches were closed to visitors due to a special event on this day, we decided to walk around the outside walls of the cathedral. Depending on how much time you have, this makes for a nice time out from the bustle inside the town. Rain started falling down suddenly, classic summer I guess, so we ran inside this charming local restaurant in front of the cathedral. Guess it's time to rest the feet with a glass of Mosel wine. birthplace of possibly the most famous personality of Trier, Karl Marx. The German sociologist and economist, the most famous critic of capitalism and the author of Das Kapital, was born on 5th May 1818 in this Baroque house. Today it is a museum dedicated to his life and works.
This room on the upper floor is his birth alcove. The most extraordinary piece of exhibit, however, is this chair in which Karl Marx had supposedly died in 1883, though not in this house. Entrance fee 5 euros per adult. The Cathedral of St. Peter from the inside. It is marked by a mixture of several different styles of architecture due to its numerous reconstructions during various epochs since its initial building in the 4th century BC. The beautiful Church of Our Lady, standing right next to the cathedral, is one of the two oldest Gothic churches in Germany. The cathedral and the church are connected through a beautiful Gothic cloister, which unfortunately was barred due to Covid restrictions. And finally, we'd like to take you to a special spot atop a vineyard called Petrusberg. You can reach there by bus or walk for about 40 minutes from the main station. The view from Petrusberg during sunset is indeed mesmerizing. We'd like to close our tour of Trier at this point, and though we have not been able to cover the city in its entirety as to what all else it has to offer, we hope we could give you at least a glimpse of it. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please hit like and subscribe. See you soon.